So it's my great pleasure to welcome you all to the 2022 Barossa Ag Tech Field Day. So I'm Nikki Robbins, I'm the Viticultural Development Manager for Barossa Australia. We were Barossa Grape and Wine formerly, and we've recently merged with Tourism Barossa. I'll be the MC for today, um, and I'll outline the program in a minute. Before I go any further, I'd like to acknowledge the traditional owners of the land we're meeting on today, the Paramank, Nudgery and Kauna Nations, and recognise their continuing connection to land, waters and culture. I'd like to pay respect to their elders past, present and emerging. I do this to remind us that our places of work, where we live and where we gather are on the traditional lands of First Nations people. A few housekeeping details. Uh, Pers have asked me to ask you to socially distance where possible. So as you can see from the program outline, the morning will begin with a presentation from Nigel Bleschke of Tall Breck Vintners on integrating an irrigation system. Then we'll have morning tea at 9.15. Uh, then we'll reassemble at 9.45, so half an hour for morning tea, and the coffee, if you haven't already seen it, is over by the marquee. Uh, we'll start the farm tour at 9.45. Uh, this will take a couple of hours um, until 11.45, so we'll do the farm tour for some of the exhibitors and then come back in here for the other half of the exhibitors, but we'll let you know when we do that. And then we'll have a presentation from Senior Ag Tech Extension Officer Robin Terry, followed by a panel session from 12 noon till 12.45. Um, the panel is slightly changed if you just want to refer to your program. Unfortunately, Dave Kerner, Gurner from Wine Australia couldn't make it today. Um, in terms of the panel, we do have Nigel, um, James Meyer from Claire is here. Uh, we have Chris Rogers from Rogers Viticulture in place of Roger Petrie, uh, Paul Petrie, and Roger Maywell is here today for the panel. So thanks guys for making up that panel. Before I introduce Nigel, I was keen to briefly provide my background um, and set out what I think is the purpose of today. My own background as a farmer's daughter on a mixed cropping farm in Hastings, New Zealand, was followed by careers in journalism and corporate communications before entering the wine industry 23 years ago. I, I've completed 12 vintages in New Zealand, Sonoma and Barossa in technical winemaking and viticulture before joining Barossa Grape and Wine 10 years ago. In the 1970s, my dad grew asparagus and tomatoes in 10-acre paddocks for Wattie's Cannery and for seven to eight months of the year, began his day at 4 a.m. to get the pickers started and the truck loaded to get on the Weybridge by lunchtime. Dad had a bedford with a flat bed, but he didn't have a forklift. And so after the morning's pick, each 10 kg box of asparagus had to be hoisted by hand from the ground to the flat bed, one by one. Dad could have done with some ag tech. The ag tech of that day, a forklift, would have made life easier and it would have made Dad's farming enterprise more efficient and probably more profitable. With more time to get the pick finished before loading, he might have been able to pick twice as much crop over fewer days, saving on labour and fuel. It would have also saved his back and the mental and physical strain of getting up at 4am every day could have been lessened too. For me, t that's what today is about. It's about finding technological so solutions that will help farming, and in our case, vineyard businesses, be more efficient and profitable, and therefore more sustainable into the future. But farming is a busy business, with growers having little extra time on their hands and dollars in their pocket to look at and trial ag tech. So it's incumbent on ag tech suppliers to deliver solutions that have been successfully trialled and show a real return on investment by demonstrating a business case that really stacks up for the grower. I know that both Persa and Wine Australia are working with ag tech companies to mentor them through the process of develop developing a business case, presenting real numbers, and then matching them up with farmers with a supported trial on, on vineyards that can be dis demonstrated to others. Today's demonstration of ag tech at the Newry Research Station is an example of this as is the Hatch program by Farmers to Founders, which, of which Barossa's own Mandy Marder is a participant. As Farmers to Founders say, producers must be at the centre of innovation. We're very fortunate in Barossa to have some of the larger wine companies with vineyards who can use their company structure to invest in trial work with ag tech. 
A great example was the driverless tractor demonstration at Jacobs Creek Visitor Centre, organised by Perno Ricard and AWRI last year, which many of you would have been to. Yalumbra is also hosting ag tech trials at their vineyards, as are Torbrek, and as are some of our smaller generational growers, such as Marty Galash. So I just wanted to set the scene there, um, and our panel discussion later in the morning will cover these issues in more detail.